Hi! Welcome to another tutorial video. I'm Saiko if you don't know me already. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to lip sync smoothly. Most people starting off will automatically think that lip syncing is difficult. The truth is, it's extremely easy. Well, once you get the concept down. Lip syncing is very time consuming, which is why many people tend to avoid it. But if you want your video quality to boost, keep on watching. Let's go over the basic mouth shapes. The English vowels are A, E, I, O, and U, which are the most used mouth shapes. I uses the combo of both E and A. For the sounds like R, H, L, F, D, and G, you'd use these mouth shapes. Now that you know the mouth shapes, let's move on to the movements. When creating movement to the mouth, you can do it two different ways. You can do it in Gotcha Club itself or in editing program. In my opinion, Gotcha Club is a much easier method. The only section that you need to focus on is the mouth element in the adjust section. In this section, you're able to change its position and scale, along with changing its rotation as well. This is where you'd be able to add movement to your characters. I'll be lip syncing a clip from the show Demon Slayer as an example. Here's the clip. I don't think there's anything in this world that doesn't matter. First things first is to dissect what Tanjiro just said. We do this by separating every word in the sentence. This will make it easier to lip sync. The first word he used was I. For the word I, all you need to use is the mouth shape for A and E. Hi. This looks a little choppy. Let's fix that. To have it look smoother, we go to the adjust section. For the A mouth shape, bring the Y scale all the way down to 12 and your X scale all the way down to 3. That's the starting position. Make sure to take a screenshot every time you adjust the mouth. Next, you'd move the Y scale up by 2 and the X scale up by 1. That goes for any mouth movement. Of course, you can go up by however many you may want, but that's my recommendation. You'd keep going until you reach Y scale 16 out of 20 and X scale 6 out of 20. We're now focusing on the E mouth shape. After that, you'd bring the Y scale down to 14 and switch the mouth shape to the E mouth shape. The starting position for the E would be Y scale 16 and X scale 8. We're going to go down by 2 for the Y scale and down by 1 for the X scale until we reach Y scale 12 and X scale 7. That's the movement and process for the word I. It's the exact same process for everything else as well, no matter what the word may be or sound like. Let's go over the process once more. You start off with a starting position. The starting position will always be a closed mouth, whether it's a smile or a frown. Then you'll transition into the starting position for the mouth shape you want. Most of the time, it would be Y scale 12 and X scale 3. Next, you'll move the Y scale up by 2 and the X scale up by 1. That's only if you're starting a word. You'll keep going up until you reach your stopping point. From there, you'd move down your scales. You only move your scales down if you're closing the word and or the sentence. The next step is to put all your screenshots together. This is the easy part. When putting your screenshots together, you've already taken the pictures in order. All you'd have to do is place them together. Make sure to listen closely to the sound of the clip you're using. Adjust the length of each shot based on the sounds you hear. This is where you'd have to use your own judgments. I don't think there's anything in this world that doesn't matter. There you have it. You have just learned how to lip sync and how to lip sync smoothly. I hope you all learned something from this video. If you like more tutorials from me, be sure to press that like button and comment other tutorials you'd like to see from me. Make sure to also subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!